Welcome. Today we are going to look at the mutete. This is a plant that is in the family of the hibiscus and it is rich in vitamin C. It can also be used as a thinner of the blood. Now the Luvale people, to them this is a special dish. Mutete is consumed with our fish and we eat all types of fish. Now, before I continue, remember to subscribe if you haven't, like, share, and hit the bell. We eat all types of fish, the bitter one, the sweet one, and the sour one. So we use the mutete to accompany the dish of the fish mostly. Guess what this is? Yes. It is the signature mutete. Today we are cooking mutete. You will need tomatoes, spoon, knife, cooking stick, masha, oil, salt. Now your mutete, when you get it, you will have to remove it from the stems. Pluck it off the stems with the soft tip of the stem and then you will need to wash it now I'm using running water you can use water in a bucket and wash your mutete thoroughly it may have dust or sand or anything that is not uh, wanted so wash it thoroughly and make sure you wash it twice when second washing um, and are ready to put it uh, remove it from the water squeeze the water out and put it away remove it without the water when you are done put it in your pot and put it on your fire I have said you've washed it, you squeezed out the water and you put it in your pot and put it on the fire and cover it with a lid. On your frying pan you put some oil, a bit of it and then when the oil is hot you put add your chopped tomatoes chop your tomatoes nicely and pour it onto your hot pan with cooking oil now spread your tomatoes well onto the pan let it cover the whole base of the pan and you need to cover it so that it cooks While your tomato is cooking, check your mutete. By now, yes, that's how it should look. It has drained all the water that was onto the mutete and it is looking cooked. We have basically just steamed it. Now you cover it and remove it from the fire. Lord, we offer everything we are to you tonight. As you are watching Lord, over your mutete, your pan should be getting cooked also. So we'll go ahead and mash our mutete. Remember, this is our signature vegetable. Lubales are synonymous to mutete. Go check your tomato by now. That is how it should look. Well cooked. You should also mash it. Mash your mutete, rather your tomato, and that's how it looks. Oh my, I am salivating. Now get your tomato, pour it into your mashed mutete. Shake off everything. Add it to your mutete, and then you mix them. Mix your tomato and your mutete thoroughly. 
Oh my, it's looking delicious. Take it to your fire, but before you put it on your fire, you mix it. Let everything get mixed so that uh, we are not uh, uh, losing out on the beauty of the mixing and the blending. Both are already cooked and ready to eat, but not yet. Wait, wait. Let's finish the process. So, you, your mutete is looking thick. Now, remember, mutete is a delicacy. So, special. Put a bit of water to make it uh, not uh, to loosen it so that it's not that thick. This one looks like it's still very thick. So, let's add a bit more water. You go and you mix it again. Ah, it looks yummy, doesn't it? Add salt to your tete. I'll just lightly, like in a teaspoon, add some salt. Please remember, do not eat too much salt. It's not relish. It's just to enhance those buds. So mix with your salt and put it back on the fire, say for a minute, and voila! That's how your mutete should look. Look at that. Look at that. This mutete is ready to be eaten. Mutete is special. If somebody has had malaria and has not been eating, bring out the mutete and serve it to them. They will eat just a little bit. That sourish taste is an appetizer. Oh my, I'm drooling. Wow. That was just the one. Remember, if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, and share. Let's share with others about this important day. See you next time. Bye.